Good afternoon and welcome to Disney's Hollywood Studios in the rain. Holy cow, it was perfect and sunny until we pulled into the parking lot and then this giant storm popped up. But on an interesting note, look at Tower of Terror. Looks awesome. As we're walking in, you can totally hear Indiana Jones happening just right over there. Well, the good news is it seems like the rain is clearing people out of here. So that makes it better for us. Well, and most of the rides are in, so they're indoors. Yeah. So that's really good for us. I don't think there are any outdoor rides anymore. Uh, just Indiana Jones, like, well, that's undercover. Yeah. I don't know. Lights, motors, action used to be, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't think there is any. So it's been a while since we've been here, and they erected these towers here on either side of the main drag to project images onto the Chinese theater for the Star Wars show that happens at night, the fireworks show. These towers on either side of the Chinese theater, those are also for the Star Wars fireworks show. It was like thunder. Do you guys hear that lightning? Yeah. The way you're something is frightening. You better knock. Onward, baby. Um, the reason why we're filming this though is to tell you that they no longer sell the jalapeno cheese stuffed pretzels in the parks. In Hollywood Studios. She said they don't sell them at any park anymore. Why? Oh no. Those were the best things ever, other than the cheeseburger egg rolls. So now I'm as mad as this crying kid. Ding dang. Yeah. So we came down here by Sci-Fi to see if we can get a table here real quick. I don't know if we'll be able to because I'm trying to get out of the rain. But I wanted to peek around the corner and show you guys the construction fence over here. Wow, it, everything's still there. Like all of Streets of America are still there. That was pretty close. Yeah, but I am excited for Star Wars Land. I think this is the concept art right here. Looks like it's gonna be super fun. While we're waiting for our table at Sci-Fi Dine-In, we came over to the writer's stop, which you guys can see the construction wall that I was filming just two seconds ago, right out there. And now they serve all kinds of stuff, like bottled beer and wine. Before it was just coffee and tea. Now it's beer and wine. So we got a cheese plate, and we found out that this is the Sci-Fi Dine-In's lounge. I guess they're gonna remodel it in September. I got to tell you guys, this was $7.50. You got some water? And they don't take any discounts here. All right, he said yet. Yeah, they might later after the remodel. All right. Not even cast member discounts on merchandise. All right, now we're just waiting for our table to be ready and watching the rain. Good times. We are inside of Sci-Fi Dine-In. We're playing Pokemon Go. Pokemon. Pokemon Go inside of Sci-Fi Diner. Somebody set up those things that help bring Pokemon to the areas. So now... Are these other people playing? No, those are other notable places of interest. Oh, okay. I wanted to show you guys the fried pickles really <laughs> quick. There they are. These are the fried pickles at Sci-Fi Diner. It's focusing on the ketchup. There's totally not enough light in here to be doing this. Oh, Let me try no. to do this. I even put my cell phone light on it. There we go. All right, that's a little bit brighter. Look at that. They look interesting. They're not fried pickle chips. They're fried pickle spears. We had them last time, and they were really good, remember? Oh, yeah. I'm excited for these scenes from the first weird feature. Ooh. Looks pretty awesome. I got the Borson burger, which is like their special for today. I know you guys can't really see it, but it's like a... Oh my, it's a burger with Borson cheese. And I think it'll be delicious. And what did you... What? Is the Borson cheese that fried thing? I think so. Yep. That's weird. Yeah, it is a little weird. <laughs> and what did you get? I got the Reuben, but I did a turkey Reuben instead of corned beef. And you got a side of... Thousand Island dressing that looks like mayonnaise. Oh no. So we had fast passes for Toy Story Midway Mania and uh, we ate dinner instead. So <laughs> we're gonna go and see what they say because it okay, ran out well, like right now. I think they give you like a five minute grace period. So we'll, we'll try it and see and let you guys know what the grace period is if there is one. So the only problem is that Toy Story Midway Mania is like directly on the other side of this building. There's no way to get to it other than walking around the entire Chinese theater and then back over to it. So we're off on an adventure. We just reached our five minute after mark. We're not there yet. So we're doing it. We're heading there. I am. That's happening. She's vlogging. She had to explain it to her mom. She's telling her mom what vlogging is. I loved it. Cool girl. I like her. All in all, it's not bad. It's only a 40 minute wait because there are now three theaters open. We're going to try. Our time was until 4, 4, 4.55. So uh, it turns out that we were okay. So I don't know what the grace period is. Ours was until 4.55 and it was 5.02 when we scanned our vans. 
and he just went straight to green. But I do, I want to say a big thank you to Vince, who was the cast member out front of Midway Mania, of Toy Story Midway Mania. He was so nice, and he said he had seen the videos. He was just like a super nice guy. Yeah. I liked him a lot. These are the old track, and this is the new track that we're heading through. So we are going to go on the newest track at Midway Mania. So will it be really smooth? I hope so. Do you think this one will have like big jumps? Maybe. How many loops? Six. Oh really? Yeah. Ooh, is this new? Remove accessories. Like what kind of accessories? I don't know, like your backpack. That's what he had. Oh. So yeah, we're in the new track now. This is cool. This little bridge here looks like it's made out of Legos. And I think that this is supposed to be Andy's room, the decoration in the new theater. And we are heading underneath his bed, I believe. At least you can see like the wainscoting and the windows and stuff like that. Look at this giant door here. We're like the toys. We are the toys. This is so cool. And this forced perspective that makes it look gigantic. I don't like that you can see the catwalks up above it, but still cool. Oh yeah, look, there's his bed right there. What toy are you? I'm, uh, Woody. No, you can't be Woody. Why not? Do you see, do you see Andy's bed? Oh yeah. Look at that. Let's try to bring it up a little bit here. There it is. I think that this theming was supposed to be what the original track was supposed to be. It's way cool looking. Oh, look at the nightlight. That's neat. Awesome. It does look awesome. This is what the other track was supposed to look like, which it has some of that, but it's not as elaborate as over here. Oh, look at this giant baseball bat and everything. It's cool. I like this a lot. There's a little button on our car that brings up closed captioning. I can turn it on and off. I did not know that that was a thing. Oh, buddy, I can't wait to see how we did. I know it's blurry. But how do we do? I got 195 and Jen got 139. All right, nice work. Wow, that was fun. What was the high score? I got best in vehicle, yay. I did not get the best this hour though. These people are good. Another view of Andy's bed on the way out. We and the like. See, like we just came from under the bed. Yeah, like the sheets are up and stuff. Yeah. It's cool. Barney Bark for his biscuit. Here's the exit to the third theater for Toy Story, and it brings us out right here next to the construction walls for Toy Story Land, actually. And you can see... So wait, is this going to be Toy Story Land? Yeah, this will be Toy Story Land right here. And so this is a... Uh, what do they call this? They call this something else. They call this a... Oh, dang, I wish I could remember. It's basically, it's a, uh, a clone of Mater's Junkyard Jamboree. I don't remember what it's called, though. It has like a specific name. And then, here is the Slinky Dog Coaster over here, the concept art for it at least, which looks awesome. Looks way, way cool. It looks like it's very long too, and I like that. I like that a lot. Ooh, look at these little like bumpies right here. That looks like it's gonna be fun. And right outside of it is that spinner. I didn't realize- Oh, it's called a whip ride. That's what it's called. A whip ride, okay. I didn't realize how big of a coaster Slinky Dog is gonna be. It's really big. Is it really gonna be that big in the long run, do you think? Yeah. My only concern is that the shape of the track looks like it's gonna be an Intamin. Um. Womp, 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 womp. Intamin is notorious for being slow to build and also having trouble after they're opened. So Cheetah Hunt was an Intamin. Not saying that they don't make good roller coasters. They can make a good roller coaster. It's just that they're not the best out of the roller coaster brands. This Tower of Terror picture. Can we buy this somewhere? I don't know. I just took a picture of it. I'm going to post it on Twitter. <laughs> I want this. Awesome. I want this really bad. <laughs> also, I really like these. I like that they're the pie-eyed, vintage-looking animations. I think that they used these, um, the pie-eyed look, because this is Disney Junior now. Is this it? Is the new Mickey's Clubhouse, this is what they look like. Oh. Yeah. One of the most famous misquoted Disney quotes is, if you can dream it, then you can do it. Not a Disney quote at all. If you guys want to see the real Disney quote that has been, like, shortened, what's that? If what's that called? If you can dream it, then you can do it. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. How did he not say that? It's on a ride. You want to know how he didn't say it? How? What is it? That has been paraphrased from this quote right here. You can dream, create, design, and build the most wonderful place in the world, but it requires the people to make that dream a reality. So, basically, if you can dream it, you can do it. But 
you still need a crowd to, I don't know. It just seems like this is what they paraphrased it from. So you're just guessing. I'm just guessing. Oh no. Not 100% true. But Disney did not say if you can dream it, you can do it. That is 100% <laughs> a fact. He did not say that. He did not say that. <laughs> Actually, the Imagineer that did say it was like, I don't know where anybody got that from. I came up with that in like 1975 uh, or something like that, 1983. And he's like, Disney was long gone. So I don't know. I don't know why it got attributed to Disney, but it's not true. Not his quote. We heard the music start for the Star Wars stuff. And look, there's R2-D2. He just noticed that I was looking at him. He looked at me. Look, he's looking at me. Oh no, the thing is going up. This is cool. Oh, that's the screen. Yeah, this is really neat. Wait, what's happening? This is the show. We should go watch it. You watch your language. Wait for me. <laughs> Bye! Thanks for stopping by! Run! What, are you gonna shoot us? Yeah, that's, you're not even aiming in the right spot. No wonder you can't hit anything. It is your destiny. I was hoping he was gonna say, who's ready to party? He did, oh God! There was a big explosion! Who did that? That scared everybody, don't do that, Darth! Anakin! Phasma, there she is. Oh, and there's Kylo. Oh yeah, look at him. He's like, well, who's he attacking right now? He's like, I'm so angry, I'm attacking like air. Here he goes, he's gonna force chokes. Oh, oh, look at that. He's got so much power. I wanna join his side. Oh no, there's BB-8. Freaking out right now. So wait, he's been under the stage the whole time? Is he the one that was making all the fire come out? Silence. Good transitions. Here they come. Oh look, they're all friends now. Aww. Well, this is adorable. Woo! Ooh, fireworks happening. Continuity was not lost on this Star Wars stage show. And enjoy the rest of your adventure here at Disney's Hollywood Studios. So we thought we were gonna go on Tower of Terror and then we saw the wait time. Earlier today when we checked, it was 10 minutes. Now it's 95. Yeah, we're going somewhere else. You know what comes after the hotel lobby? <laughs> it's the after party. I do, I do know. I have heard this song. So I guess Tower of Terror was down. That's why it was a 95 minute wait. Maybe it'll go down, like the time will go down now? I don't know. Oh, how I want to be back in California. Jen wanted me to show you this wedding dress at Mouse About Town. But she thinks it's absolutely marvelous. But like, what do they do with these when they switch the windows out? Like, what is this even from? Where did they get this dress? And then look at this dress. Like, like they have a wardrobe department. This is so crazy. And this is just a window display in Mouse About Town. They don't sell any of this. I, I'm sure they sell those earrings. They sell that bottle of cognac. <laughs> but, but like, what do they do with these beautiful gowns? I, that's what I'm saying is I think they make them so it doesn't really matter. matter you just throw them me. out. Merman, Dad. Merman. You guys see me and her reflection on her glasses? Hi. Let me get a picture of that. Star Wars. Do you guys speak whale? Hello. There's, there's a, a whole day that's called Speak Like a Whale Day. Yeah. It's gonna be the most annoying day to talk to somebody. <laughs> it's the slowest. Like, ever. like one sentence and then you're done. I feel like the most annoying day would be to talk like Flash from Zootopia. That would be the most annoying. But Whale Day is right up there. <laughs> like all normal characters for the most part, like a like a spaceman Mickey. Is he Tron? It's Tron Mickey. This is amazing. Tron is blue. Well, there's Tron Red too. How are you guys? Good. Good. How are you? And then we get to Pirates of the Caribbean Stitch. Oh. It's amazing. I've I never like seen him. this one. He's my favorite. And then Orange Bird over here by himself, all lonely. Uh, we're back home now. And it was very, very hot today. Very hot. Like, ridiculously hot. But there were lots of places that we could kind of, like, duck into and get shade. And we also, um, another thing that made our day so... I guess being so hot didn't make our day special. But I was trying to, like, <laughs> I was trying to, like, segue into, like, why our day was so special. We had a really good time. And the cast members were so nice today. Not that they're not always nice, but today like we, nice. we met some really awesome cast members. We met Vince at Toy Story Midway Mania. He was amazing. So super nice. Those are the kind of cast members that you just like remember. Like they, they do make your day more magical. So that was cool. Yeah. So uh, with all that being said, 
I'm super tired now. Yeah. So we're off to bed. Tomorrow begins another adventure. So we will see you guys tomorrow. And now it's time to pay the price.